The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 5th of October. We're looking at the Dow. Whoops, I've got crude oil up here. Crude oil is down 77 cents at 83.43. Just a smash to the downside. These commodities, if you're looking at wheat, I mean, look at wheat. It's just plummeted from the high that was made in 2022 up in the 1400 area down to 565 in the continuous. Look at the soybeans. So uh, all these commodities uh, we're soaring, of course, two years ago. Then last year, they started to top out for some of them. Soybeans down sharply, although the monthly is still looking pretty good. Uh, looking at the, uh, looking, look at this, looking at corn in that rectangle in the monthly, but the weekly is already turned down very sharply from the 630s down to the 487 level. Look at this flat um, market, basically in a rectangle formation here at the bottom, um, the daily chart. And look at soybean. This is part of the contracts. Uh, oh, didn't do corn. Uh, soybean um, had a fantastic, sorry, sugar had a fantastic move up. Still holding pretty well. And it's corn that I wanted to look at. Yeah, corn's the one that was flat, holding steady. And if you're looking at high-grade copper, look, high-grade copper, making lower lows, taking out the left side low of April or May, um, down at the 357 level, down 0.01. If you're looking at heating oil, hey, Maybe we're going to have another good summer, a good winter here in the Boston area. We're not going to have that horrible snow, snow, snow. Because some people love snow. I, I like to see snow, but I don't like to shovel snow. Anyway, what we're looking at here is 2.92 in the heating oil, down very sharply. Uh, look at gold. <clears throat> gold is struggling down four at 1831. Look at silver. So maybe the commodities are telling us something that the Fed is looking at. And I will be back in the second with, oh, I've got right now, I've got a caller. Let's see who we've got here. Uh, we have a caller. We've got, uh, is that right, John in Philly? John. Good morning, Basil. Thank you for taking the call, sir. My pleasure, John. What can I help you with? Uh, first, tell me: Are we running up about? Uh, uh, are we? Excuse me. Are we running up against a bumper, a time constraint right here? Uh, no, fire away. You mean you and me? Yes, very good, Basil. Go, um, go ahead. I wanted to ask if you would share with me your technical analysis of the gold futures contract. Um, I think there's well, uh, I bought gold this morning right close to that low at eight thirty. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if that low is a bottom of some sort. Um, so that's my view. That's what I'm doing with it. Of course, if that's not a bottom, I will be out. And I always, first and foremost, as we all do here, is uh, keep our losses under control. Uh, but with that said, please show me uh, your technical work and tell me what conclusions you come to, please. So there are a couple of things that are going on. Let me just first of all say um, the, the relationship. I've been talking about this. For, I, I know you'll remember that I've been talking about this for about a year and saying that my five icons have completely different meanings to what they used to always have. In other words, there used to be a relationship that if um, the dollar was strong, Crude oil would be very weak, and the dollar and the gold would be very weak. Uh, if the VIX was very high, the market, especially if the VIX was getting up into the higher level, in this case up into the twenties, we should see massive moves to the downside in the market. If the um, if bonds are going down, are going up, and yields are coming down, uh, very often that helps the stock market because lower yields adds to the um, velocity and turnover of uh, the funding for businesses because the rates are low. So all of that's had uh, completely different meanings. And the one thing that we've been looking at for some time is that I've been looking at the gold and saying, you know, considering what the dollar has done, gold has acted very well 
But there will be a point, and I use the 200-period exponential moving average in the weekly chart. Um, this is the orange line in the middle chart, daily on the left. In the middle is the weekly, and we, we're looking at the bigger picture now because I think, John, what you're looking at is where would there be a turn in gold that isn't just a momentary turn, but it's really, it, we're now talking weeks rather than days. I, am I correct? Correct. So... There's a pattern that I look at. I call it the propeller shaft. I used to do this when I used to hand chart. I found that this worked out well. It, it, think of it in a in the way that yeah, uh, TF and then most of our hosts talk about the uh, the lightning bolt pattern, where the level of a price going from one high to a low called A to B, and then a rally starts as C to D move down in the same proportion. I have the same technique. I've used it for years, but I use it as a pattern. I'm not going to go into it now, but I call the falling axe or the propeller shaft. And what I like to do is to go to the outer limit of this rectangle and do a measured move. And you can see we've gone almost to the penny, to the downside in the weekly chart with these thick blue lines. If I use this fulcrum, this rectangle here, as the, um, the midpoint for what I call the propeller shaft move. That's just one technique. But mostly what I look at is, look at the weekly nine-period moving average, and I'll do this. I'll go to my uh, chart right now. That is the chart that I use on a weekly basis to show the, and I'll go to, this is a continuous contract. If you don't mind, I like to use the continuous contract because that takes me, I can go as far back as I want, and it, it, the others give me a limited time if I look at, a, say, the December futures. So in this particular instance, you'll see the price here, First of all, it's way below the left side low. It's even below every single trough except the trough right here. Uh, that's the week of the October the 28th, uh, where the continuous contract was at 1747. But you see the way the nine period moving average is so sharply lower and they're in parallel motion. So that says to me, I don't have any signal yet in the 914 period moving averages that are negative. That even says it's going to get close from 1916, where the pink 9 period moving average is, to 1935, where the black one is, for the price. The price will have to move, I would say the price would have to move up into the 1973 or even higher area for that pink to turn green. So that's number one. But most importantly, what I'm looking at here, and that's the weekly chart, I'm looking at the MACD which is the histogram starting to expand again. I'm looking at the stochastic, which is actually a little bit above where it was when it was in the just at about 10%. Now it's at 17%, a little bit higher. So in a way, that's a little bit of a positive divergence. But you can see the distance in the 200 period moving average that we've pulled back says that the weekly chart is, I cannot look at the weekly chart in terms of positivity at this particular point because the tide is still going down, and it'll mean that the daily chart is the one that has to give me the uh, impetus and the turnaround. But now look at the daily chart. You see the stochastic flat at 1.9%. That's the equivalent of um, if the stochastic was at 98.90. That's where we are. And I always say if the stochastic's up in the 90s, or especially in the mid-90s or higher, that's fabulous if it's if it's holding steady. Now, John, I know, I know you like to listen off air. Should I continue and you will listen off air? Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Basil. I will do just that. I'll be back in a moment, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, we've been on the line with John and Philly talking about gold. And I know that John likes to get back to uh, into his uh, um, back into his office to be able to uh, listen online and to be doing all his work. He, John uh, writes uh, a voluminous uh, notes on all the trades that he has is a fantastic asset here in the den. Uh, you know, a lot of people that really respect him and uh, others do the same sort of thing. And he, he has copious notes and, and just explaining exactly what he's doing. So now let me just do this. You see this move down. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine big red candles, or most of them are big, not all of them. So I always like to say, the gold contract has no idea. It's not looking back and saying, oh, I've got nine uh, you know, red candles. It's, it has no idea, right? We can see it. So we mustn't be influenced by this visual that says, this is a waterfall cascade from the 200 period, exactly at the, 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 the way the 200 period moving act is as a repellent, uh, especially the one, the last one, which was in, uh, that was, I think it was September the 20th. Yeah, September the 20th at 1968.9. Um, and now look where we are. We're at 1833. So the chart has no idea. It's just the chart. We have to try to interpret it. Now, I just did the measured move here on the weekly chart. I've done measured moves on many of the indices. They've already taken out those lows. To me, once it's done, it is done. This one is still active. So that just says in this proportionality based on my Chapman wave falling inverted falling X pattern and the rectangle, um, uh, the, this is the, the fulcrum, the midpoint, the pivot point, um, we've already extended to the downside. The speed with which we've gone down is a little bit longer. Now, I like to do this. This particular pattern has a one-to-one. -one. I call it the Chapman wave parallel one-to-one -one extension. Why? I like to see the number of bars down or up if it was up to match in the same angle this extended out and then it fell and that tells me that there was a modicum of strength and then you got the, what happened was the decision here was no i don't have enough strength i have to fail and it just took it took it out right away the 200 period moving average just whoosh right through that means that this whole area here in the weekly chart of 
I'm spending just a moment on this longer than I would normally because a lot of people have emailed me to say, what about gold and gold stocks, etc. 1902 is the big resistance. Wow, that's almost 60 points away. You can do that in a second. What would it take? Let me just look at the, the counterpoint because in this particular instance, we do have a counterpoint. But what do we have? We have this really strong dollar with the nine period moving average way above the 14. The price is just barely over the nine, but it's it's there. And to get the nine to go green, to go pink underneath the, uh, I probably have to say red. People don't like the word pink when it comes to technical analysis. Doesn't matter, pink. Um, to go pink, you probably have to see it way underneath this low right here. And this low was the low of five sessions ago in the dollar of 105.66 on the dollar index, 105.66. Probably you'd have to be deep into the 105.20s. And even then, I don't think it'll turn, it'll turn pink. It'll just be getting closer. And the weekly chart is still strong. And I had said months ago, I want to see a rally that takes this big rectangle in the in the weekly chart, the UUP, which is what we have, we're still long, um, the dollar bull uh, uh, fund. I want to see two out of three weeks where we close above 155.88. Last week, we closed at 100 and, uh, 106.16. We've still got a number of hours to go until tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And that says if it closes over 105.88 for the second week in a row, what I've done then is I've made this a legitimate B. And there should be a pullback. And at the stochastic at 95%, I really should be putting an up arrow. I have to wait until Friday's close. If I get an up arrow in the dollar to say the dollar is going even higher, that's not good news for gold. So I needed to put that perspective because in this particular case, you can see from the chart, look at this chart of the dollar. I'm going to go to the, the to the um, gold contract. Completely different. It is a very weak contract. The dollar is good. It isn't a very strong contract in the weekly chart. It's good, and that's what I'm saying. I've said for quite some time. Try to treat each one of those icons separately, like the VIX index. Look, the VIX, VIX index is down to uh, it's up today, 32 cents at 18.90, and the, and the Dow's only down 40, S&P's only down 18, the, 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 so that we're not working in the same manner that we had done before. So this is what I'm going to say. I also need to do silver. I know you asked about gold. You cannot do gold without silver. Now look at this, one to one to the downside. This is even a greater extension, I believe. I'm going to do that right now. Um, I, want to, I want to do this all in this particular segment, so let me just do this now. And I'll make this nice and thick. I really don't like it. There was a one-to-one -one in the falling axe formation to the upside. It failed to take out the top and it made a peak D. Chapman made peak D. He says, you got to be careful. That's where other things can happen. So let me do this here. I'll make this nice and wide. So I could I could have made this just a couple. Look, here's the Chapman wave falling axe formation on the upside, an inverted one. Therefore, we can go to the down. I usually change colors, but I, I, I now have learned just visually when I'm looking at um, YouTube, Tiger YouTube, uh, this is really clear. And we've gone beyond. So I would say, okay, for me, this is done. I don't even need that. It's just a waste of ink. <laughs> That's a joke, of course. Oh, I took out the wrong line. All right, doesn't matter. There it is. Um, and that just says silver's gone even lower. And it's right at, look at the low that was made back in the week of the 10th of March of 2023 at 20.69, and here we are with the low yesterday of 20 point, I think it was just above, 20.85. So we are just about to test this left side low. So that means silver, you see the on balance volume, that's the one indicator that says it's overbought because it's made this little, M, uh, this little W formation, whereas the gold uh, on balance volume is, is straight down. So we are at a, pro, a pro, we're at a point where I'm saying my on balance volume is ready for at any point any little bit spark of good news ready for a bounce. At this point, I'm just saying bounce. But here's the issue: you see the stochastic flat at 1.99 percent. Well, you say how low can it go? It doesn't go much lower than that. It never goes to zero. Uh, it never goes to zero on the upside or zero. I've seen it really close. I've seen 99.98. 
I, I, I copied it and I put it, I took the chart and I put it somewhere. I don't have it in my office that I can see right now. I wanted to keep it because that's happened so rarely ever. So this is what I'm looking at here. If I look at the gold contract, I'm going to say you, for the inflection that you need for the day, because there is a relationship, but it's not a one-to-one -one mirror image. It's just the trend of gold going down is in the opposite of the, go of the dollar going up. That's all I can say. So if the dollar at 106.54 at any time today starts, I said this yesterday, we'll do it again today. If it starts, if the dollar goes 106. I'd even say not too far away. If it goes under 106.25, if gold cannot rally and move four to five points higher, it's just stuck. And that's what you need. But on the very short term, we're close to a bounce. I just don't see anything more meaningful than that at this particular time. I could have said that in just one sentence. Thank you. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, so John, I just want, before I, I, I wrap this up with the gold, I, what I want you to say is the low that was made, I think that's what you meant, that that sharp low at, 8 at about 8.30, where it plunged down to the 18.26 level, the continuous contract, um, I, I, I'm not going to change to the futures right now. I'll make it real simple because when the dollar, it's going to have a breather. There's no question about it. So I didn't do the EUR, EUR, USD at the same time, but I'll do that now. So I didn't want to do it here. I wanted to. Do, well, first of all, in the 10-minute chart, 
I'm just going to tell you that the 200 period moving of average of 1837, at any point today, if there is a close for three out of four 10 minute bars, consecutive bars, then watch the dollar because if the dollar is the same, oh, I keep typing onto the chart. Now I must type onto the little rectangle there. Okay. If the dollar, and the only way you're going to be in the position is, I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those cases where it's an overnight thing, that if you are in the position, this is what we've tried to do now for a, 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 slight, a somewhat aggressive small position in, in one of the indices uh, on the long side. Um, if the dollar, which is at 106.59 right now, which has been repelled from the 200 period moving average, starts to trade down towards the 1630 level, then you're in a really good position because if anything happens tomorrow with jobs or whatever report it is at 830, and the response is that gold strengthens the speed, meaning if you haven't been taken out, in other words, if the stop hasn't been hit, means you're in position. And that's what I'm trying to do because I'll, I'll explain why. Um, I'm preparing based on this chart right here. Let me just show you what I'm looking at. Based on this particular chart, I did discuss it yesterday, I want to do it in more detail today. The low in the Dow that was made in May at 32,586, that's uh, where we went uh, long again. Um, we added to the long that was from March of 2020. This is also good trading positions, etc. And then the short that we got the exact top, the exact day of the high of the 1st of August at 35,679. Um, my, my looking at this with the exact bar symmetry says that there's a chance. I don't know what it'll be, but there's a chance that we are so close. We went to 32, eight, uh, 32 yesterday was 32... 873. It's only 300 points, less than 300 points away from that May low. And I've got an X marked here to say the exact bar symmetry takes me to uh, what day? The 6th. When is the 6th? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow to test this area. It could be within a couple of days. It doesn't matter. The, the chart doesn't know that I've drawn in Chapman Wave inside wedge, red, dashed red. Uh, target support line or the symmetry, this bar symmetry from the high of August the 1st. It doesn't know that. I'm just saying, so I'm preparing because within those couple of hundred points, we might still be able to hold a position. I don't know yet. We'll see. So that's, so that, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because we didn't get it today. The day is young. Anything can happen. We didn't get it. I did get a Chapman Wave high trim reading yesterday, which said that the S&P should move up. 12 to 15 points, which it already did intraday. But I'm saying that these could be the triggers. So I would be in preparation of now the GDX is not quite made it. It's like a few cents of the low in the GDX gold miners was 25.62 yesterday. And this particular one to one, and it's not 100% exact. Let me get it 100% exact right there. Um, comes in at, oh, 25.78. All right. So we've We've done it, 25.62 within pennies away of that. We went just under it, actually. Um, so that has got the one-to-one. -one, but we've seen this before, and it didn't work. Uh, and the weekly chart is the one I'm looking at. So the GDX is saying it's attempting at 6% in the stochastic. The unbalanced one is desperately trying to rally to at least have a bounce. And I would only treat it as a bounce. So let me go back to this one more time to say, EURUSD, you can see this is a horrible chart, but there is an attempt to turn around right here. This is a euro dollar currency pair, but you've taken out the left side low. We'll see on a weekly basis by Friday's close. If it goes under 1.051, uh, the low yesterday was 1.044. Um, and it's already gone under it. Let's see if it closes above it but it's got that peak D and it's pulling back. So there are a lot of things that says a bounce, but the strength of the dollar is really key. And I'm going to take a little extra time there because you can see that the chessboard is saying there are a lot of moving parts. To get those moving parts to get back into sync on the other side, this is what you'll need. Um, so I'm going to do this. So let me go back to the to the questions that I had in order that I had them. So give me a second here to get this back here. 
So that's what I was saying. Preparing for a rally in gold, if everything works out tomorrow morning, it didn't work out today so far, um, that's one way to do it. But I, a really good turnaround for weeks, I just don't see it right now without a retest. And uh, this market is kind of vulnerable right now. I'm just taking a moment here because I'm trying to find where on earth. Oh, there it is. Okay. So let me go through the question. Google was a question. I'm going to not G-O-O-G-L. I'm going to the one I was following. We've never had Google. I don't know why because so it is a, an incredible company. But Google has been pulling back from the high. It had that gap. It's full the gap. It hit 140 just recently. 152 was the high in February of 2022. Plummets down to the, I think it was just over 80. And now it's uh, at 134. I like the action in the weekly. It's telling me that it's holding very steady. So the question is, where could I add to it? I would I would rather add on to Google if we get a turnaround that says by Tuesday, the Dow, it's not in the Dow, I'm just using this as a, as a uh, kind of an influencer, is above 32,330. I'd say add, you can add to Google. If the, um, if the um, s and P which is at 42, the S&P right now, SPX. You have to have the market turning up. The S&P has to be about 42.90. That's a, quite a way to go from here. And then I think we've got at least a decent counter trend rally coming up. And those are the things I'm needing. So <coughs> Google, hold off. Um, next question was Boeing. Now, here's a, here's a big thing. This is an interesting thing. You see this on the way down. I haven't had many of these that I've, I've used as a BA worm. I'm just putting a worm because this is the pattern that we see on the upside sometimes. And you never know when to get in. And you say, and every time you look back, you say, I could have just bought anywhere. Like you could have just shorted from 230. You could have shorted every single day. And everyone just, look, I haven't got, I haven't got a single, I've got one little peak A right there. A tiny little A, and it was an A minus because the next day it took it out. A, a, another A failed. Another A failed. So now, at 7.89 percent, I have to look at PAVE. No, no, I have to look at PPA. PPA is the PPA is the um, this is the Invesco Aerospace and Defense uh, portfolio. Look, a peak E with a silent Doji the next month. In the monthly chart, weekly made a peak D in a sell mode, and the daily is uh, way below the 200 period moving average. I'd be very hesitant. I'd rather be looking at an option. I don't believe the question I had it does, does anything with options. I, I'd hold on. I, if the market turns around, and as I say, same thing with uh, what I'd said to with Google. If the if the Dow is up three or four hundred points by Tuesday. I'd be looking at, at Boeing as a bell. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So for a few, for a few days now, the, the, the little bits that I've listened to you on any financial news uh, TV program, uh, it seems like a lot of people are expecting some kind of an explosive move to the upside. And what's the opposite of an explosive move to the downs upside is an explosive move to the downside. Well, you remember, I spoke about this for some time, and it might have sounded, I know some people thought, well, 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 what does all that mean? I've been talking about my, volat my, my 914s, um, and I said, the daily charts have all given me sell modes but I haven't got anything yet in the, in the weekly charts. Either we're going to have a slow drip to the downside and every rally just, be, you know, if you can't rally, that energy just gets usurped. And then what happens is you go back to the trend you're in, which is in this case, the downtrend. We've got another uh, one and a half sessions to go for Friday's close. But I've got the nine period moving average negative in the weekly of the Dow. I've got the S&P nine period moving average finally Weak, and we've still got another day to go. So why is that not coming up? SPX dot X. Oh, I'll put a, a comma. It doesn't usually work with, oh, now I've messed it up. No, 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 John, please don't do that. Format. Ooh, what did I do? What did I do? SPX, I think. I think, I think, I think. Um, close. Oh, no. I've done something. So let's just do this uh, format. Let's just turn that one into... Oh, there it is. Okay, data. Format. Uh, let's just... Give me a second. I'm just trying... Oh, don't do this. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, is that a dollar? Yes. Dollar SPX dot X. Close. Uh, Close, close, close. There it is. Oh, now I have to get rid of this. Uh, delete, uh, remove, and remove. Oh, okay, back. So what we're looking at is in the S&P, um, the weekly chart, uh, the week's still young. You've got a whole you know, day and a half to go. But so far, look, S. But wait a minute, the QQQ, nothing. Not yet. It's close, but it hasn't done it. So that's the reason why I've gone from one time frame. Normally what we get is a, just a smash to the downside, and then the weekly charts go with it. But the weekly charts have held very well. That's the reason why I'm looking at this and I'm saying something is wrong and something is wrong. Let me just show you. I had a couple of questions. Let me just do this real quickly. FXI, this is the China uh, China large cap. And we're looking at FXI at 25.50 down 4 cents. Uh, that weekly chart is just arched over. It's right on a 38.2% retracement. Uh, it's not looking bad. It's just not looking good. Um, junk, JNK. This is the junk bonds. Ay, ay, ay. How about that? Is that ugly or is that 
Is that ugly or is that ugly? Wow, that is not very good. Let me just move this down. It's irritating me that I don't get it in the same proportion that it should be. There. Okay. So look at this. Junk took out its left side low. It's now gone below the even the low of 2022, December. And now it's going to the low of November, the week of the 11th of 2022. This is the junk bond. So I, you can't treat this lightly. This is different to anything we've seen before. Normally when the markets have moved over the 20 or 30 years, when the Dow and the general market is tanked, bonds have held. If you've got a balanced portfolio, you just looked and said, what's everybody worried about? My overall, not when you have bonds as well. Just in the last two weeks, you've gone from, the TLT has gone from about 94 to 80, 84. It's at 85, 74 right now. This is, we've not seen stuff like this with the speed. And that's the reason. So now what we're looking at is there's a chance. And Normally, in a market that's had a big run and goals had a big run, when the market pulls back, money gets at the very end, money comes out of gold because people use that the profits there to, to kind of use it as cash. And what we've seen here is that gold actually started kind of led the way down. Look, it started its, its way, moved back in April. And some of these indices only just recently made their highs. So there is something a little different here, and you've got to respect that. So any rally that comes, it's going to be from a very over, like a, like an elastic band. It's going to be happen very quickly. Maybe you won't even have a chance by the time it opens uh, with the, uh, the the diamonds say, opening up, gapping up two points, and then moving up another. So it's going to be, you need to prepare for it. But you need to have stops because look at this. Things can go down and down and down. Next question I had was um, EEM, which is the foreign markets. This is the uh, this is the emerging market ETF. Look, took out the left side low. It's done almost a one to one to the downside of the cup from arch formation. Um, it looks like it wants to test the 17th, uh, the week of the 17th of March uh, this year. The low was. 36.99 here is at 37.07 it's within an eye blink away of that left side low i all i'm saying is for subscribers to my opening call we're trying to be as selective as possible if we are long we're trying to be aggressively long in a small position with a very tight stop i think at this particular point i'm more comfortable with that scenario oh question came in what about ccj ccj that's the uranium remember it had an ugly move from the high that was made just over 42 and I said there's an alternate count, and it, in the alternate count, that D was actually a C, but it's a D. If it was a Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart, it should go to the 36s where we went under that yesterday. Now we're bouncing. And our UEC, which we are still long, uh, we've taken little bits off on the way up with fabulous gains. Look at this. It's running again up 20 cents. That's why I cannot rule out crude oil, even though crude oil just had a a huge single leg A to the downside. Single leg A to the downside can often reverse quite quickly and quite sharply, and then you've got to see if you get the dreaded H. Next question came in was Queb. Uh, Queb is, uh, this is, is Chinese, I think, Chinese, uh, what is it? It's Chinese something or other. I think this is the Chinese Google. Uh, it's tra uh, trading down 12 cents. See the way it's testing, testing with slightly lower lows? Um, I just be a little bit careful. Neo, you said you got some puts on Neo. Yep, puts right now on Neo. Well, it's actually I, at eight dollars and fifty nine cents. It's holding quite steady, which takes us to Tesla, and Tesla is off its off its intraday high. Is down almost four at two fifty seven. This is the one that I think is still the king of the group of the EV area. This is really the leader, and it should stay the leader. That doesn't mean to say it's going to go all the way back to all-time highs of 100, but I do think it's going to hold a lot better than many of the others. Next question came in. Could I look at oh XLF? So the reason, another reason why I think gold is in its own trajectory is look when the banks, the XLF, plunges from the I shouldn't say plunges when it drops sharply 10, 12 percent, and goes down so quickly, and now it's testing the 200 period moving average. Usually the Big governments, not just mutual funds, but really huge money goes into This is my experience. I'm not even sure I can prove it. It's just something that I've noticed and I, I think it, it seems to be the way, the correct way for me to think about it. That when the financials become very dicey, 
big money goes into because if American banks are in trouble, you better get some gold. Something's different. That's what I'm saying. All the correlations are just not working like they used to. Hey, Dow's down 106, SP's down 30. Okay. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. For the final thing in this segment, in this last segment, a couple of things I want to do. Um, I just want to give you a brief thing. I have a natural guest. We looked at it yesterday and I said, we're getting closer and closer to a breakout of this long, a year-long rectangle. And um, I'm seeing the technical starting to improve for the very first time with the price ignoring it. And that, to me, is a, a good sign. So I'm looking at natural gas. It's up, uh, the UNG is up. This is the United States Natural Gas Fund. At 7.33, up 34 cents. I actually like this. Uh, it's a different chart pattern altogether when it, than when it made in late August, early September when it popped up to the 7.40 level. I like this. But if you're trading it, you've got to be prepared to ha have it overnight. And that makes it kind of difficult to do uh, for those of you who are, uh, uh, are risk averse. So I wouldn't be touching this if you're risk averse. But and I was going to have this for subscribers this morning. And then I completely, if I don't write it down in my first paragraph as a reminder for the next day, it just, I got so many stocks and things I look at. I just, it was off my radar. I might, I don't know if I would have because I think it gapped up. So if it gapped up, I would not have got it. No, in fact, I definitely wouldn't have, wouldn't have because it gapped up this morning. 
uh, it opened at 705 is a 733 as a trade and a very near term trade I, the questioner they want to know about it i would start my start your engines right here on natural gas but you have to have a stop if you're able to trade it overnight that's one thing if you're not you got to be careful but yeah it's 734 almost the high of the day i would have a stop in you got to have some flexibility here, but I don't want to see a takeout yesterday, uh, today's low of 704. I would have a stop at 714. And then tomorrow it needs to gap up and be flying away. And that's really what you want. That to say, for the first time, the daily chart has gone from a buy signal, uh, has given a buy signal. I think you get a lot of buying. And this so far is a new leg. Have a wonderful rest of the day, folks. Check out my report daily newsletter. And stay tuned for Steve's great programming, of course.